Hi, my name is Rick Moonen. I'm the executive chef and owner of RM Seafood, a fully sustainable seafood restaurant in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. My definition of sustainability is not taking an active role in the extinction of a species. Right now we have seven billion people living on this planet. One billion of those are either malnourished or starving. By the year 2050, it's projected there'll be nine billion people. How are we gonna feed the planet going forward? From this moment on, every decision that we make has to be a, a thought behind it of how we're gonna make sure that this planet is capable of producing food to keep us healthy. It's the truth. First time I saw Bristol Bay, I flew in on a, a small float plane. As you land in these rivers and streams, it's like one of the most unbelievable, beautiful things that you'll see in your life. My jaw dropped. I thought I was looking at a postcard. The waters were so pristine. It was so untouched by man that I felt as if I had found the Garden of Eden. It was just unbelievable. And to think that this area, naturally, on its own, man does not have a thing to do with it, produces an enormous amount of natural, delicious food to us as, 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 as consumers, as humans, and also to the ecosystem. The rivers of this region provide over 50% of the world's sockeye salmon. Sockeye salmon is one of the last five remaining wild species of salmon available to us. And it's one of the most delicious fish in the world. On average, 40 million salmon return to the rivers of Bristol Bay every single year. 30 million of them we get the privilege of consuming leaving 10 million left for the following year's health and perpetuation and sustainability. Fishery experts have warned us that 75% of the world's targeted fish stocks are in distress or nearing collapse, while marine ecosystems are rapidly deteriorating. The collapse of any fishery will have a huge impact on the future health of our ecosystem. Two foreign mining companies want to develop North America's largest open pit mine at the headwaters of the rivers that supply the salmon to us every single year. Pebble Mine would be two miles wide, 2,000 feet deep, and would provide gold and copper for a finite period of time while digging up 10 billion tons of toxic mine waste and affecting the pristine habitat that these salmon rely upon for survival. I mean, look, you're gonna dig this huge hole in the middle of this beautiful, pristine area. Well, if you're gonna take something out, it has to go somewhere. That's gonna be 10 billion tons of waste rock that is laden with sulfuric acid and other chemicals that's needed in order to, for the process of removing the gold and copper. Well, it has to be stored somewhere. They're gonna build this gigantic dam between two natural mountains to just house this 10 billion tons of, of waste. And that's there forever, leaching its way into that ecosystem. It's right there, right there at the headwaters of one of the most productive places on Earth. Bristol Bay is a very wet and porous place. It's connected by rivers, streams. Just below the surface of the land is, 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 is marshy. It'd be very, very difficult to contain any kind of toxic intrusion. It's gonna affect an entire portion of the ecosystem. The concern of mine is that here, tucked away in a part of Alaska that very few people visit because it's so remote, comes something every single year that continuously supplies us naturally. We don't do a thing about it. We don't plant a seed. We don't till the soil. We don't do a thing. Yet by putting in Pebble Mine, we will have a potential devastating effect upon one of the last resources left. The slightest bit of offset to their ecosystem could have devastating effects. We could wipe out an entire species here. So you can just imagine 
that large scale amounts of copper and sulfuric acid that'll be produced from digging up a two mile wide open pit would, could have on this ecosystem. It just doesn't make sense. I'm not necessarily saying that mining is a bad thing. I'm just saying that this is a bad place for a mine. 50 to 100 years of supplying us with gold and copper would, would come to an end, it would dry up. Yet this renewable resource of salmon would also come to an end, which is extremely short-sighted in a growing global population. We don't even know how we're gonna feed the planet going forward as it is. This is one of the last natural supplies of excellent food for us, yet we're being very short-minded about consideration of a, of a short-term mine uh, opportunity. We all know the, the story about Midas and how he was so greedy and wanted so much that gold that when he touched it, everything turned to gold and everybody starved to death because that you can't eat gold. You can eat salmon. We're gonna all look fantastic shiny gold and copper as we run out of food. It just doesn't make any sense. My name is Paul Greenberg. I'm from New York City. I'm the author of the book Four Fish. And for me, Bristol Bay is about saving probably the purest, uh, most healthy, uh, most nutritious protein on Earth. And it's a wild protein. And in fact, it's actually about saving the last wild food. Hi, I'm Ken Baldwin. I'm a guide for the Rainbow Bay Resort in the Bristol Bay watershed. I've been there about 10 years. And I'm telling you, we got to protect that area. we got to protect it from any mining that's going in because if the salmon goes, there goes Alaska. And this is it's, it's not said in any poetic way. It's literally a fact. There's no salmon. You can say goodbye to the grizzly bears. You can say goodbye to the brown bear. You can say goodbye to the eagles. You can say goodbye to that environment because the salmon is the life and blood that watershed. You can't do something that big and not affect the environment. I'm Rachel Finn. I live right outside of Lake Placid, New York. I spent 12 years guiding float trips in the Bristol Bay, and the Pebble Mine proposal is just unfathomable, really. I can't even believe that somebody would think of putting that type of mine in that area. It needs to be protected. You know, the greatest wild salmon run in the world. Everything about it is wrong. EPA needs to fix it. Hi, I'm Brett Beer Husen. I'm a commercial fisherman in Bristol Bay. And we should save this beautiful place. It's where my family started fishing. It's where my family continues to fish. And it's where 1,800 other people are commercial fishermen. It's a huge industry in Alaska. It represents $300 million in our economy. And it represents my livelihood. Hi, I'm Donnie Ottaway. I'm a trout bum and firefighter from Denver, Colorado. I'm fishing the great waters of Bristol Bay, and I want to see them to stay pristine as beautiful as they are. And I'm totally against the pebble mine, and I hope that the governor and the citizens of Alaska realize what a precious thing they have and how valuable it is. My name is Reed Ten Clay, and supporting Bristol Bay is important to me and my family because we've been fishing commercially in Bristol Bay for over 60 years, and by protecting this resource, we'll be able to keep fishing for generations to come. My grandma, my mom, my dad always told me that Bristol Bay was very very rich, and I really believe it. We are truly rich in natural resources, and it's worth protecting. Why do we want to save for today? Or this guy? This guy is our future generation. He's going to be fishing there. Bristol Bay, Alaska, is one of the most gorgeous, untouched, pristine parts of the United States of America. We need to protect our last sustainable seafood sources while we still can. Well, what salmon consumers, chefs, and everyone can do is send a message directly to President Obama by logging on to www.savebristolbay.org and encouraging the Environmental Protection Agency to bring a halt to Pebble Mine. It's a critical point right now. This is where we can take things and change and turn it around. The Environmental Protection Agency, with the Clean Water Act, can put a halt to the development of the permits that are needed in order for this mine to reach fruition. You can also join Save Bristol Bay on Facebook and Twitter, keeping on top of current affairs. And last but not least, you can also vote with your fork. If you see Bristol Bay salmon on a menu, buy it, support it, 
it may be one of your last opportunities. Protecting Bristol Bay is a smart way of protecting our nation's health and economy and doing it in a delicious manner.